Well, hello, and how are you feeling? John Riggs here with the toys that time forgot. This is from Blake Wright. This was a Kickstarter project, and I wanted to share it with you. This book is massive, and what a great value there, too. 581 people, thank you for making this book uh, possible here. Um, this book, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't familiar with the Kickstarter campaign, or else I would have backed it personally. Um, I'm not a toy collector, but of course I grew up with toys, being a prodigy of the 80s. Uh, I was born in the 70s, you know, grew up in the 80s, uh, and then of course the end of the 90s and uh, current. So I'm not a toy collector, but I have a huge appreciation for toys. Uh, forward by Jordan Hembro. Jordan Hembro is the toy hunter. Loved that show, loved that show. I'm not gonna go through every page like most of these books that you see me uh, doing these videos on. Um, but I do want to show you what it looks like on the inside because I think it's a wonderful book. I picked this up um, from Blake personally, from Blake Wright. He was at the Washington State Toy and Geek Fest in Puyallup, Washington not too long ago, and he had a booth there, um, chatted with him uh, just for a few moments, and um, he was selling his book there, so had to support the cause here. We have um, both Blake and Jordan uh, both signed it, so I thought that was thought that was really cool of both of them. So, I mean, and Jordan Hembo was uh, was right next to him too, or had a booth uh, just a couple um, tables down. So, um, what this book is is it shows you a lot of prototypes. It shows you a lot of toys that didn't quite come out. Um, Dark Crystal, which is a movie I want to show my kids. I tried showing them it earlier, and they didn't quite get it yet. But it's cool to see like the hand painted, the not painted yet. Um, you know, you see like toy prototypes that never, you know, quite made it to, to, uh, to supermarket, not supermarkets, you know, stores and everything. Uh, this reminds me of my buddy Ryan Wells. He's a cosplayer, um, and he actually cosplays as this character. Um, look him up sometime. Look up Ryan Wells cosplay or something like that on Facebook, and you'll see him very, very intricate as far as the cosplay goes. But whenever I see that, I always think of him. So I'm gonna, I'm just going to start skipping through... Uh, several at a time here so you even have like documentation i mean this is like a part of toy history these things here you know um these probably look familiar right just a little bit kind of pre-transformers but not quite transformers yet but becoming transformers there you go you know before it has that transformers name uh these this was an interesting one i remember reading about this let me go back up here to um yeah, these uh, these flea, the, they're uh, they're flea characters. It's like it's kind of creepy, right? Um, and then like licensed fleas. You know, look at the, the way the legs are intricated here. But I mean, obviously He-Man, Skeletor. Yeah, it's just <laughs> that's awesome. Superman as well. So anyway, and here's like an unpainted um, TMNT figure. TMNT throughout the years. Crawl. Oh, that's another movie I loved growing up. I haven't, I haven't seen it in such a long time, I don't remember anything about it except for the glaive, but I should watch Kroll again. Got the Sectars. I'll just, I'll just kind of skip through it here pretty briskly. The, uh, what's it, the Ewoks, the Challenge of the Ewoks, what was that thing called? I don't remember. Anyway, I just, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not a toy collector, but I think it's just super interesting to see, um, you know, these sketches and designs for toys that never quite made it out to shelves, you know. You know, some of these I would have loved in the 80s or even into the 90s, you know, when I was like Bucky O'Hare. Are you kidding me? You know, I was I always thought of Bucky O'Hare was kind of like a knockoff of uh, TMNT, but it's its own thing, which is super awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. My favorite Earthworm Jim. I'm such a huge Earthworm Jim fan. Not just the video. The video game is phenomenal, but like the cartoon, the animated series, it's wonderful. It's hilarious. I mean, have you seen it? It's all. You should look it up sometime. It's hilarious. Uh, the voice of Earthworm Jim is um, Dan Castellaneta, the guy who does the voice for uh, Homer Simpson, um, and the writing I, th I think is hilarious. Great show. And I had a few of the figures too. Professor Monkey for a head. I had a few of the figures um, just because I was such a big fan. Got the odd world here now. Watch out. Could you imagine? Oh, man. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Hello. I love that game. And like I said, I'm, I'm skipping Middle Earth. Here's like Lord of the Rings type stuff. I'm skipping several pages at a time. There's Saruman. Is Saruman, right? Yeah, that's Saruman. There you go. So, but if you want to grab... Oh, God. That's why I never actually saw this movie, but I had a bunch of friends who were all about it. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm skipping several pages at a time here so you, you know 
I'm not going to see every page here, but if you would like to uh, grab your own, get your own, I'll link it in the description below. I'll find a copy of it for you. And you never know, really see them from the waist. You always just saw like that much of them. You never really saw his legs, but there you go. Oh, the Space Madness episode. So anyway, I think this is just a cool book. And um, I just wanted to share it with you. This is the, I'll go back to the front page here. Whoop. The Toys That Time Forgot. This is volume one. I was talking to Blake. I don't know how public it is yet. So I'll at least tease the fact that if there's a volume one, there's bound to be a something something else coming out sometime in the near future. And not just that, um, but he also did say he is working on something um, that will appeal to gamers like myself and maybe like you too. So you wanna check out this book for yourself, you can check out a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you're into video game books, I'll actually include this into the video game books category just because it's a book and uh, nowhere else to put it. <laughs> I only have a few toy books anyway. Um, check out more of the uh, book reviews of the videos I have, um, links right there as well. And make sure you subscribe because I put out new videos just about every other day. Thank you.